And the thing is, you know, once they once they destroy it, there's no going back. You don't get a second chance. We've got some of the best unspoiled, cleanest water left in the East Coast. The fishing's been improving every year, and I kind of hate to see that change with something that's not going to last very long. My father has some camps up in Labrador, and they do a bunch of iron mining, and it's it's pretty ugly in a lot of places. Just flying over it, you could see where they dumped the tailings and all the water within, I don't know, probably a 10 mile radius of Lab City is just red. In the Fish River watershed, J.D. Irving, a giant Canadian corporation with no metal mining experience, wants to blast a 600 acre open pit mine on Bald Mountain in search of copper, zinc, and other metals. This could have serious consequences for some of Maine's most pristine and treasured natural areas. Maine guides and sporting camp owners depend on these waters to provide a living for their families. The relaxation of the mining rules in general in this area could open up the specific area to mining, and that worries me. It's really important to farmers to have good soil, good water, clean air, and that's why we're so concerned about this mining situation. It's just, it's a terrible idea, completely unsuited to the climate that we have in Maine.